prepare for Nerdgasm. Hey, what's up Nerdgasm fans? Jerry here, aka Barnacles. Today I'm going to be unboxing a scale. Yeah, the thing you stand on that tells you how fat you are. Because uh, I've decided that it's time for me to do something about my health. And uh, I'm going to start off by losing a little weight and getting a little more exercise. Um, because, you know, all the troll comments have deeply uh, beat me up. And I can't sleep at night and I find myself waking up with cold sweats and crying. Because, uh, you know, somebody told me in the comments on my video that I was fat. <laughs> and uh, and I just, I just really don't know what to do, you know. Because, you know, I'm doing my best. But, no, in all seriousness, though, uh, I, it's something that I've wanted to do for a long time. And, you know, I kind of go on diets on and off, you know, throughout my life. So, it's time for yet another one. So, if you guys have been watching my Q&A video, you know I got a gym membership now. I just haven't used it yet. I start on Monday at Gold's Gym. So, I already have something called a Fitbit. If you don't know what it is, you can go check it out. It's Fitbit.com. It's like a hyped up pedometer that you put on your person and you go about your business throughout your day, do your workout, you know, uh rock the coffee machine, get some coffee, whatever, but uh, it records all of your activity level throughout the day and it does a really good job. It can tell when you're going up and down stairs, doing elevation changes, speed, um, all kinds of stuff. Well, it basically, it tracks your progress on your diet, but the one thing it's missing is the ability to track your weight. You still have to enter your weight manually. So I decided, you know, being the lazy person that I am, you know, since I'm going to work out and I'm going to be even more, want to be more lazy, I need something that'll just track my weight for me. And that's where this guy comes in. It's the Fitbit Aria scale. It's also it's it's the sold by the same company and uses the same online service. Um, and I've used Fitbit for a couple years and I actually really like it. It's it's a it's a solid product. So I decided to give their scale a try. I think it was like ninety nine dollars U S. And uh, the whole idea is it's a Wi Fi connected scale that can measure your body mass index and your weight. And it's personalized, so it knows who you are when you stand on it. So that way you can just wake up in the morning, stand on it, your wife can stand on it, your kids can stand on it, and it'll upload the telemetry to all of the Fitbit accounts separately so that you can just keep a running tab. And then when you go look at your Fitbit information online, you can basically see uh, how much you weighed on any given day or any given weigh-in, and then correlate that to your exercise and activity level. And then the only thing you have to input is your food. So like, you know, if I eat something, I go in my little Fitbit app on my smartphone and I say, okay, well, you know, I ate five bear claws. And, uh, and it tabulates that in. You don't have to track your diet, but it can track your diet. So you guys let me know as soon as they come out with a solution for that. If they have some kind of a funnel that you can put over your mouth, so when you stuff the food in, it measures the caloric, uh, can, you know, the calories contained in the food and uploads it, that would be awesome because then it would complete the circle and I'd have the ultimate triad of weight loss. Um, especially since I probably wouldn't eat as much if I had to shove it through a cone into my face, especially in public. But uh, anyways, I already took the liberty of unboxing it, and I'll tell you why. Um, this is an empty box. Uh, because this is the third time I've recorded this video. I'm seriously tired, because I keep setting the microphone setting wrong, and it keeps clipping the audio so bad you couldn't even understand me. So being the trooper that I am, this is the first time in Nerdgasm history I've done a third take for the same video to get the audio right. So, and it'll probably still sound like crap. So I, I apologize for that, guys. But uh, hey, at least I'm trying to be somewhat diligent. So let's go ahead and throw the box aside. We don't need that. Uh, first, we'll look at my old scale right here. This is what I was using. It's a health o meter or healthometer. Um, I picked this up from Target about 10 years ago. You know, Target, that awesome store with the Target on it. Uh, and uh, it's, it's done a good job. The battery's still working it. It's about 10 years old. I mean, it, it's not a bad scale. Problem is, if you stood on it, you know, three or four times in a row, it would give you a different weight each time. This, however, is the Aria scale. Um, the Aria scale, it's actually really heavy. The entire top is glass. It's got a metal ring around the screen right here. And the back is this nice plastic. And it's got a compartment on the bottom of it that has four AA batteries. But the thing that makes this scale really cool is not that it does weight, but it also does BMI. Um, it's the Wi-Fi. It's the fact that I can connect it to my Wi-Fi in my house, and anytime I stand on this, it'll automatically figure out who I am and upload my data. So that's mainly why I got it. So let's go ahead and uh, take it for a little test drive here, shall we? I'm sure you guys are all curious how much I weigh, because I don't think I've ever actually mentioned it. I might have. Who knows? And uh, just to save the trouble, because I don't want to refilm the whole setup video, to set this thing up, it's dead simple. You turn it on, it reports itself as a network, a Wi-Fi network called Aria. You open up your smartphone, you go to fitbit.com forward slash something devices. Here, hold on. I'll get it for you guys. 
So you go to Fitbit.com forward slash settings forward slash devices. And then from there, you basically just say, hey, I got a Fitbit scale. It tells you to switch the network. You hit continue on the web page once you switch to the ARIA network. And it lets you configure the whole scale. You can join it to your Wi-Fi network. You can configure its name. I called mine Fatty. I thought that was an appropriate name. Uh, so, um, actually, maybe it's more, more appropriate for me than the scale. But anyways, I'm standing on the scale, so, you know, I digress. Anyways, this guy is pretty easy to set up. I'll give you that. As long as you have a smartphone with a web browser on it, you, you can configure this thing no problem. Once it's set up and it's connected to your network, then all I have to do is stand on it. It takes my weight and it uploads it. So let's go ahead and try that out right now, shall we? All right, guys, let's take this thing for a test drive. I'm standing in my bathroom right now. I'm going to go ahead and step onto the scale. I am holding the camera. Okay, sensing. Okay, so step off. Thinking. There it is, 287.9, holding the camera, 41.8% PMI, all right, beefcake, and it knows who I am, that's just awesome. Here's a little screenshot from the website, you guys, showing that it successfully uploaded my weight and my body mass index, pretty cool stuff. All right, guys. Well, there you have it. 287 pounds is my baseline. That's my first weight that I've recorded into the Fitbit system officially. And that concludes our unboxing and how to use the Fitbit Aria scale. Um, trying to keep these videos a little bit more short than usual because I think I'm a little too long-winded. You guys can let me know what you think about that in the comments. But as you can see, it tells me my BMI, it tells me my weight, and it's confirmed uploading to my website. I mean, right right there, you can see today it's 7.24 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. It recorded everything I wanted it to. So uh, I'd have to give this a thumbs up. I mean, I haven't used it for any super period of time, so I can't attest to its actual durability. But uh, from what I've seen so far, it does exactly what I wanted, and I think it's going to be a huge asset to my success. So guys, I hope this video gave you a nerdgasm. I really enjoy doing these unboxings and uh, video gameplay videos and Q&As. You know, you name it. I'm a pretty random guy. And I'm always looking for more ideas. So guys, send me your comments. Send me your private messages. Please come join me on Facebook. Please. If you hate Facebook, then join Twitter. I don't care which one. But it's a heck of a lot easier to interact with you guys on other social networking sites. YouTube social networking sucks. Just responding to comments is a pain in the ass. Trust me. Um... Uh, I do, don't get me wrong, I'll respond to your comments, I do like you leaving comments, but if you want to interact with me in a more real-time basis or get replies quicker, come over to the Facebook page, the link is right on my main channel. So, please like, favorite, and subscribe my videos, it helps me out a lot, and uh, I love you long time. Uh, so, guys, until next video, this is uh, Jerry, aka Barnacles, signing off. Actually, maybe we should flip that right side up. What do you think? There we go. Try this again.